Rishi Sunak has stopped short of introducing the Hillsborough law, but offers an apology. I'm going to read into this more from the Independent, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan really Elite here with an article from The Independent with the headline, Now Rishi Sunak has stopped short of introducing the Hillsborough law, but offers an apology. The PMS says sorry for the delays, but insists the law enforcing legal duty of candor is not necessary. So what is this about? This is about a tragic event that took place back in 1989 in a football match or soccer for Americans that uh, took place between Sheffield Wednesday versus Liverpool at the Hillsborough Stadium. Um, Sheffield Wednesday were the hometown and essentially um, uh, what happened was it was so over the match was incredibly overcrowded um, Liverpool fans were the away fans were bundled into their stadium into their part and it was so overcrowded that the banisters basically collapsed and lives were lost and it was a very chaotic time chaotic moment and it sparked the change needed in 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 football, in particular in British football, the need for safety. Um, but what angers me still when I think about that 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 time, even though I'm not a, a football fan anymore, what angers me is that it cost lives for people to realise that maybe they should introduce something. Um, the fact that it had to cost lives to do something was ridiculous. And what's also infuriating is that it's 2023 and this is still, they still have not got their closure and it's just horrific. Um, these, the lives that day did not need to be lost. It could have been avoided. And what was even worse about that, that time, and I'll never forget this, is that the Sun newspaper tried to pin what happened on that day on the fans as well when it was not the fans and it was the police who allow the police who were ultimately responsible for this which is why when you ask why the sun newspaper is not allowed around the liverpool area now you know because they tried to pin it on the fans for what happened that day it's a horrible event and um and it didn't have to happen So Rishi Sunak has stopped short of introducing the Hillsborough law demanded by campaigners as he issued an apology to the bereaved families in the Commons. The former Bishop of Liverpool, James Jones, sets out the 25 learning points in his 2017 report following inquest into the disaster at the 1989 FA Cup semi-final in Sheffield where 97 Liverpool fans died. In its long-awaited response on Wednesday, the government said it has signed up to the Hillsborough Charter pledging to place the public interest above its own reputation, but said a Hillsborough law enforced a legal duty of candour was not necessary. Now, why not? Why, why is it not necessary? Football fans lost their lives. People who, who sent their sons to that game, people's family and relatives and loved ones who went to that game, never came back. It is a responsibility of everyone to make sure that that never happens again, ever. And I think it's pretty effing disgusting that it's 2023 and we have Rishi Sunak issuing an apology. The apology should have been issued long before this, long before now. In the foreword, Home Secretary James Cleverley and Justice Secretary Alex Clark admitted the response had taken too long, compounding the agony of the Hillsborough family and survivors, the ministers added. For this, we are deeply sorry. Mr Sunak has said, the Hillsborough family has suffered multiple injustices for more than 34 years later, and there can never be too many apologies for what they have been through. The PM added, and I want to repeat that apology today and thank the Hillsborough family for their tendency, patience and courage. Inquest into the deaths at the match played between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. Oh, it was Nottingham Forest. My, my sincere apologies. 
and the 15th of April 1989 concluded in 2016 found that fans were unlawfully killed and errors by the police and ambulance services caused or contributed to their deaths. The match commentator commander of the day, David Duckenfield, was charged with gross negligence and manslaughter in 2017, but was cleared in 2019 at a retrial after the jury of his first trial was unable to reach a verdict. In the 2017 report, Mr Jones called for the government to give full consideration to the Hillsborough Law or Public Authority Accountability Bill. The aim was to include a legal duty of candour on public authorities and officials to tell the truth and proactively cooperate with officials' investigations and inquiries. But the Tory government said it was not aware of any gaps in legislation or clarification needing to further encourage a culture of candour among public service servants in law. It is understood ministers believe in that adopting the duty of candour would risk creating conflict and confusion between the framework of duties and obligations already developed since the disaster. In its report, the government says the family and survivors were entirely justified in their frustration with the evasiveness they experienced from public officials. But it said much had changed in terms of, expect of expectations and requirements on the public officials since 1989. It is said that continuing to drive and encourage a culture of candour among public service servants was essential and important part of the Hillsborough Charter, in which Deputy PM Oliver Down had signed on behalf of the government. Mr Jones said the government's response uh, falls short of hopes of the, of the Hillsborough family, but said it was a serious and substantial response and welcomed the decision to sign the Charter. Former Prime Minister Theresa May bemoaned the fact that she had taken so long to respond to Mr Jones' report. She asked for details on specific steps to ensure a new culture is instilled across the whole of the public sector. The Justice Secretary highlighted efforts to put uh, to put uh, the Charter into effect, saying it will be trained it will be in training for police officers and introduction for civil servants. Mr Chalk added it will become part of a culture of what is meant to be a civil servant in Britain. Leaders of public bodies who sign up to the Charter commit to place the public interest above their own reputations. Other organisations have already signed up to the Charter, including the National Police Chiefs, Councils, College of Police and Crown Prosecution Service and Kensington and Chelsea Council report says. The government response also said it will start on expanding the provision of legal aid of, for inquests following public disasters. In 2021, uh, retired officer Donald Denon and Alan Foster and former force solicitor Peter Metcliffe, who were accused of amending, st amending statements to minimise the blame on South Yorkshire police after the tragedy, were acquitted of preventing the course of justice, perverting the course of justice, apologies. Mr Justice uh, William Davis said the amendment statements were intended for a public inquiry into the safety at sports grounds led by Lord Justice Taylor, but that was not a course of public justice. <coughs> still still a lack of accountability guys uh, I just uh, first and foremost let me place my sincere apologies I honestly thought it was Sheffield Wednesday it was not and it was not in Forest that played that game that's my first I uh, just want to put that on the record um, it's still like it's it's a, it's still a step in the right direction, but still, just I just I just don't know why we drag like why why is this still dragging on? Like why can we not implement what what is needed to be implemented here? Why are the Conservatives dragging and kicking their feet over this? I also have to say that um, I do have to put in part of Labour as well because remember Labour were Labour been in. They were in power as well a few times before before this tragic event happened. What are they doing to ensure that this is this is this is done as well? I just I, I just simply sympathise with those who have been battling this for so long, and it's yeah they're saying that it still falls short of the hopes of the Hillsborough family, but it's it's it's, it's infuriating to say the least, guys. Um, but. Apologies don't make up for what's happened back then. You, you, you can say sorry as much as you want, but once the damage is done, the damage is done, and you cannot undo the loss of life. And I think that's important to, to make. So what do you guys make of it? Rishi Sunak stopping short of introducing the Hillsborough Law. Let me know what you guys honestly think in the comment section down below. Does his apology mean anything?
don't send my apology, change anything that's happened. What more needs to be done? What more needs to be learnt, guys, from this tragedy? Let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button, be greatly appreciated. Share this across social media and hit the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when I upload another video. And if you want to financially support me, you can do so by buying me a coffee or joining me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon. Thank <laughs> you.